Welcome to the latest video on Windows Server 2012, this time looking at Server Core and how we can turn the graphical user interface on and off. Starting with Windows Server 2008, we got a range of different administrative experiences. So we got Server Core introduced, which gave us a command line administrative experience for infrastructure servers. We then got Server with full graphical user interface, which gave us the traditional Windows experience for administration that we're familiar with. And then we got the desktop uh, experience added to that to be used in scenarios where we wanted to use the machine as a remote desktop server, for example. Windows Server 2012 really gives us two new features. Feature one is the introduction of a new minimal server experience. So this is a little bit like Server Core with the ability to use management tools only. So uh, Server Manager, but there's no Internet Explorer. There's no Explorer Desktop, for example. The second element is this ability to actually move up and down between the levels, the ability to install and remove the graphical user experience as we want to administer the system. So let's try and see this in action. So I'll log on to my Windows Server 2012 Server Core system, and the Server Core installation is now the default installation method. So in order to do this, the first thing you need to be aware of is you need access to the source files. So either the machine needs to be able to contact the Microsoft uh, update site, or you need access to the install WIM from the installation media. So in an install directory, I have a copy of the install WIM. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a directory which I can then use to mount the install WIM on. So I'm just going to create a folder called WIM mount, obviously, so an empty directory, and then use the DISM utility so that I can actually then mount the, v the WIM file on the back of that. So I don't need to use PowerShell, but the actual commands I'm going to need to install the console I'm going to do within PowerShell. So I'm going to just use a PowerShell prompt to run DISM. So I'm going to use DISM, get hyphen WIM info, and then specify the WIM file. So it's forward slash WIM file, C colon backslash install, backslash install dot WIM. The reason for this is we just need to highlight uh, which uh, media we actually need. So the key element here is I need to use um, media index number four because that's the version that contains the correct copy of Windows Server 2012 that I want. So the data center edition but also the full graphical version because it's the graphical tools that I want to use. So I'm now using the DISM command with the forward slash mount hyphen WIM parameter to actually mount that WIM file. So specify the WIM file and C colon backslash install slash install dot WIM. Obviously index number four for the image file that we need. And then the mount DIR um, to specify the actual folder where the WIM file is going to be mounted. And we're going to use the read only parameter just so that we can't edit it. Actually, mounting the WIM file does take a, a few seconds, so we'll just speed the video up here to improve that performance. So as we can see, the WIM file is now mounting. Uh, hopefully it won't take uh, more than a, a few seconds to complete. There we go. And once the WIM file was mounted, as always, uh, for those that many of you could have experience using DISM and WIM files, we can also now go and look at the contents of, of the uh, WIM file that we've just mounted. So if I just do a DIR and have a look into the WIM mount folder that I created, we will actually see the content of that folder or that directory structure. So that allows me to have access to the source files required. So what I now want to do to install the graphical user experience is I want to use the PowerShell command install hyphen windows feature. And I'm actually going to install two parameters here. So server hyphen GUI hyphen management hyphen infra that gives me the uh, minimal experience so this would give me the experience of having server manager and I'll show you that experience on its own in a moment and I'm also going to add on the second parameter of server hyphen GUI hyphen shell so that's going to give me the full graphical experience so Internet Explorer um, uh, Explorer and I think you would expect so in this instance, I'm specifying the source parameter to point it to that folder. So the win mount slash windows slash win SXS folder. Um, as I say, if I didn't specify a source parameter, the system would go out to the Windows Update site to actually get access to the source files. As I'm specifying a local source, 
I need to make sure that the local source is of the correct version. So as this is the data center release, I need to make sure that I provide it a copy of the full graphical experience for the data center release. There's no point providing access to a, a different version or access to the server core source files. So hopefully as we can see, we're progressing along and actually installing the components. So again, I'll just speed the video up as we're going through this process. So we're just coming to completion now. So hopefully it should be a few seconds and then we'll get a prompt back telling us that the graphical experience has been successfully installed. Now because of the changes that we're making to the system, you will see that it will also tell us that we need to restart the machine to complete the change. We could have put the minus restart parameter on the end of the command line and the system would have restarted automatically if we wanted to. But I chose not to do that just so we could see the message that actually comes back. So just enter in the command to restart the computer and we'll hopefully watch the restart process and you'll see it obviously install features as you would expect on a normal uh, Windows restart when a, a, a change of this type has been completed. So again I will just speed the video up but uh, let you see all of the steps as we go through. With the reboot almost coming to completion now, hopefully we should be able to see how the experience has changed on this particular server core system. So see we're just starting to uh, boot the machine. In reality this would more than likely take um, about a minute, um, maybe a minute and a half to complete these activities depending on the sort of performance of the system. So there's the login screen, so we can just supply the password and log into the system. So the first thing you'll notice we actually go and do some uh, user experience customizations that you'd get on a traditional Windows machine, so something you don't normally see on a server core system. Actually straight away <clears throat> you'll start to notice uh, that we have a taskbar down the bottom with notification tray and obviously the buttons. You can also see that server manager has actually launched automatically as well, got the recycle bin on the desktop. So we can start to see that we've got a traditional uh, graphical environment for a Windows Server 2012 system. If I start to sort of navigate around the system, uh, you'll see that uh, I have a variety of management tools available to me depending on what's been installed. So the experience that we would expect to have. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reduce the system back to the management infrastructure. So this allows me to run server core but with uh, basically with uh, some of the management tools so server manager, MMCs and so on. So you can see I'm going to do the uninstall hyphen windows feature and I've used the uh, server GUI option with the minus remove. The minus remove actually goes and deletes the files from the, the disk so if I wanted to reinstall them I, again I'd need access to the installation media. So this is really removing anything that would be regarded as, as, as non-management related. So obviously tools like Internet Explorer will be got rid of. Um, and we're really just going to um, get back to the bare bones with server manager and some MMCs. So I'm just going to restart the machine as before. Because again, as you can see, it does actually require the, uh, a restart for the uh, completion of the uh, change. So again, sped the video up a little bit here just to improve the reboot performance. So as you can see we're just finishing off the configuration. So again sign into the system. So just enter the password. And this time we'll get a, a slightly different experience. So this is going to give us the server core experience with the command prompt but you'll also see server manager launches. So no taskbar down the bottom, no notification tray, no buttons. I wouldn't have the Metro interface um, available to me that we get on the server 2012 machine as well. And we can see the server manager console come up. So this is this hybrid, this new level uh, that we've never had before in any of the Windows operating systems. So I can now obviously, for example, go and open up management consoles again. So I could go to the tools menu, choose to open up a management console, go to any of the roles that have been installed and go to the management consoles uh, for those particular roles. So you can see the services component launch there. 
obviously full server manager functionalities there, obviously the ability to add remove roles, restart systems, uh, do multi-server administration, so all of those functions are available to me. So the last thing we need to do is really set the system back to being a normal server core based system. So resorting it back to a normal server core system, again open a, a, a PowerShell prompt and we'll go from there. So just to show you, if you did by accident close server manager, server manager can just be relaunched with server manager.exe and I'm straight back into the server manager utility. So let's try and remove that now, so PowerShell. And just as we did just now, we'll use the uninstall hyphen windows feature command line utility. Now again, one of the things you would have noticed here with using PowerShell is I've not been loading any modules. One of the features of PowerShell version three is auto module load. So it will find out which module contains the command that you want to run. So we're going to remove the server GUI management infrastructure, INFRA. And again, with the uh, minus remove parameter, if we want to remove the source files, or if I choose not to use the minus remove parameter, it will leave the source files on the machine so I can install them without having access to the, the source content or downloading them from the internet again. So we'll just restart the machine. And you'll see the restart process again, speed it up a little bit, just to actually keep the experience a bit more efficient. So the system's just coming back, and again we get the log on screen, and we can log into the system again, and when we log into the system, we'll see that we have a far more traditional server core experience. So this time just purely um, the command prompt, you see that if I try to run server manager, it reports back that it's an unrecognized command. So I couldn't even launch the management console automatically if I wanted to. Thank you very much for this video. I hope this has been useful for you, showing how we can actually install and remove the uh, graphical user interface on server core or any other systems. Thank you very much.